with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Sunny skies across the area in Manhattan. It is hot. Felt every bit of summer out there today with the gusty winds, the high humidity, and temperatures that hit 90 in Topeka, but mid to upper 90s over the western counties. 88, you can see the camera just shaking, and that south southeast wind sustained at 26 miles per hour, and the dew point sits at 70. But the wind has certainly been hard to avoid today. 20 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds right now, gusting to 30 to 35. Five, a windy evening, but a hot evening as well. 93 in Manhattan and Junction City, back down to 84 at Burlington, but 88 in Topeka, 87 Holton and Hiawatha. Then you factor in the humidity and everyone in the 90s for a heat index as high as 98 Manhattan, 99 at Junction City. And the dew point, most of the area, upper 60s and low 70s. This is pretty muggy for any time of the year, especially this late in the season as we're getting close to the start of fall. But tomorrow there is a cold front coming in. Good news for those who are tired of some of this humidity. It really dries out by morning in the western counties. And as this slowly pushes east, I wish I had better news for the southeastern portion of the area. The front halts. Now, it will be a noticeably drier day in Manhattan, Marysville, and Clay Center, and even to some degree Topeka. But then the front starts to retreat overnight tomorrow night, and that could trigger a couple of thunderstorms but while it's retreating. And then we're right back into the heat and humidity again for Thursday. So enjoy the break while we get it. It's a short one tomorrow. But we do see heat index values in the upper 90s southeast this time, low to mid 80s. In the same areas where the heat index was over 100 today, a nice break tomorrow. But then Thursday, we're right back in the thick of the heat again, upper 90s and low 100s for a heat index by the afternoon hours. Not much cloud cover right now, but we do have some clouds we're watching coming in from the west. We're also keeping an eye on a Category 5 Hurricane Maria. Winds are now up to 175 miles per hour as it continues to strengthen, very well developed, and coming unfortunately close to St. Croix, and then on toward Puerto Rico, and perhaps even hitting uh, the largest city there of San Juan. Uh, it looks like a very dangerous storm for the Northern Caribbean again, but it should curve northward east of the Bahamas and stay well east of the U.S. East Coast. Tonight down to 73 degrees and clear. 86 with that break in humidity tomorrow. Then the heat and humidity return could be arriving with some early storms Thursday morning prior to daybreak. Then sunny, hot, humid Thursday and Friday. Heat index approaching 100 on these muggy days all the way into Saturday with a strong south winds. But a cold front will return to the area late in the weekend, early next week, and that one should bring a more substantial chance for rain but also a substantial break in the heat and an overall pattern change, which should have next week actually feeling like fall. Of course, it will be fall, so it should feel that way, but the first day of fall looks to be hot. You know, we switch over to that on Friday, and it looks to be a hot second half of the week. Enjoy the little break we get tomorrow, and then look forward to the nice fall weather next week. All right. The 22nd, uh, right? The first day of fall? Is yeah, that first it? Full day, yeah. First mm -hmm. full day. 22nd. All right. Yeah. Mark your calendars. Mark, yeah. <laughs> Well, some lawmakers say a new health care 